All right, so we've covered already cleaning off the block, putting it in a parts washer, making sure our surfaces are free of dirt and debris. And now let's take a look. We've already removed the head gasket off of this and the majority of the gasket has already been scraped off the top of this block. But if we hadn't done that yet, again, we just use our flat gasket scraper and we'd aim to just take off that material. So we can see there's still just the remnants of some material left coming out. And we can see the remnant that's there just based on the staining on the top of the block here. So you can see those dark marks on the top. There's not, we're not saying we're gonna get all of that off, but before we go and check our block for, our deck for straightness or flatness, what we wanna do is get it as clean as we can. So we're just gonna grab some of this Scotch-Brite pad, and this is a larger six by eight piece cut into smaller sections. But taking the Scotch-Brite pad and the flat gasket scraper, or you could just use a, a block of wood, you can clean up the block, okay? So we just wanna run that across the top. And now the reason why we'd prefer to use a block rather than just our fingers is as we get to the edges, the ridges where our cylinder head needs to contact our block or around our water grommets, we don't wanna dig in at each of the holes. We wanna make sure that they stay as flat as possible. You'll notice I'm wearing some cut gloves, and the reason for that is these edges on a block can be quite sharp, so we wanna protect ourselves and wear the proper PPE to do this job. So I'm just gonna to continue to clean this up, getting all the residual head gasket material off until we have a nice clean deck of our block. So we're just using a Scotch-Brite pad so that we don't remove a lot of material. All we're looking to do is clean off the extra gasket material that's here. We're not looking to cut any or machine any steel off of the block. So all we want to do is take the stain off, sort of like you're washing the dishes. You want to take the dirt and the grime off. There are some spots where we just can't seem to get it well with the block. It's like dishes, you don't, wanna, you don't wanna cut the material of the dish away, you just wanna take the dirt and the grime off. And that's really all we're aiming to do as well here. So once we've gotten the majority of that off, we can again just grab a wood block, if nothing else, even the back side of a wire brush could do. And again, just a wood, wood block that's going to allow you to get the rest of that material cleaned off from those spots that you just can't reach any other way. So we want to get it backed by something hard, not your, your fingers. And the reason why is your fingers will curve around those sharp edges better than a block will. And we don't want to curve around the sharp edges. We want to leave those sharp edges as sharp as possible. So now you've got most of the staining off. You might have to get around some of these oil passageways just by hand a little bit, but don't try and do the whole block this way. There we go. So now we've got all the staining, all the residual gasket off from our head gasket, and that's gonna allow us to have a nice clean flat surface that we can measure our flatness of our deck on.